Hello, as requested, Miss Glennis Grace, run to you by Miss Whitney Houston. Um, let's see how she does. I'm so sorry. I know y'all gonna be mad at me for stopping that, but her timbre, when she hit the run part, I thought of Whitney Houston all through, all out. Oh my God. Let's continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> just say this the whole video 
because that was the when she when she belts I hear with the Houston I hear it um, when she hit that run the first time um, um, in that chest and that vibrato in that thick tone and that clarity reminded me so much of the one and only voice Miss Whitney Houston um, I mean that was the best cover of that song that I have ever heard the best cover it was the closest to Whitney Houston that I have ever heard period she is the closest to Whitney Houston I've ever heard period singing this song this is all I've heard of her um, but um, my god her like I said her tone is rich and thick and that is so important when you're singing a Whitney Houston tone I mean, song, I'm shook, I'm sorry. Whitney Houston song. The tone is everything. It's the depth of just just all of your notes. Just no matter what note you're hitting, Whitney Houston's voice had a depth to it. It had this rich, creamy, dark, chocolatey texture to it. And it was just a warmth. And, and um, she has that. And wow, her control, those transitions she was doing, just like Whitney did on the album. Perfect. Her head voice, beautiful, powerful, not not paper thin like some others. You know, it, it's beautiful and you, it's full like Whitney's. Whitney's had a um, unnatural thickness to her tone, to her head voice specifically. That reminded me of um, some opera singers um, that have to practice and practice for that sort of tone. But she had it naturally. And um, this girl, yes, yes. The runs, yes, she 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 executed them flawlessly. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, if it weren't for slight, um, um, what's the word? What am I thinking of? Um, slight um, pronunciation differences between them two, between those two. I'm sorry, Lord, that's embarrassing. <laughs> between those two, um, um. I mean, it would just, that's the biggest difference I noticed. And they were very slight, very slight, maybe one or two times where the pronunciation, um, I could tell the difference. But um, yeah, man, this was the best Whitney Houston tribute, I think. This may make some people mad, but this was my favorite Whitney Houston tribute. Um, it really is because she came so so close and it, it, it's not that it's about that it's not about trying to outdo a one and only voice Miss Whitney Houston because it, it's not going to happen but she all the glory and props she deserves it man she is incredible her tone her control her vibrato speed I mean her clarity just wonderful her transitions were just like the album just just beautiful beautiful much praise and respect to her thank you for liking and subscribing and please continue to for more of your favorites and if there's more please let me know i would love to hear a lot more from this woman ridiculous peace